welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be looking at oblique drawing in a previous video we would have looked at isometric projection all right so in today's video we'll be looking at how do we draw an object in oblique drawing or oblique projection given the two-dimensional views that are shown on the screen. So the diagram here where my mouse is, or my um, computer hand is right here, is a front elevation. While the picture at the top is the top view, is the aerial view looking in a plane, in the sky looking down above, looking from above, from above looking down. All right? So I want you to get a sheet of paper, Yes, I want you to get a pencil and I want you to sketch what the three-dimensional oblique drawing would look like. If you don't remember what oblique drawing is or oblique projection, in, in this channel, we did an introduction video to the topic oblique projection. So perhaps you could pause the video if you need some um, revision. Yes or review to visit the, the, the video and then you can draw this two-dimensional drawing in a three-dimensional um, view which is in today's video we're going to in oblique projection or oblique drawing okay so get a pencil get a sheet of paper if you don't get a pencil I guess you can use a pen. If you don't have a pen, you can use a crayon. You're just sketching it. Now you can pause the video, and when you finish sketching, you can come back. But I will be here waiting until you are ready to start. All right, so just press that pause button. When you have your sketch, you re restart it, and then you, have, you can match your solution in my solution. All right, sounds good? All right, pause in, pause. All right, welcome back. I hope you took time to. um actually sketch a solution because I did mine, so I want to see yours, all right? All right, so let us sketch a solution. We're going to draw the solution in AutoCAD, all right? So the first thing I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw this box right here, this, this, well, not that, um, escape. I'm going to draw this box here, right? Bounded between these two horizontal lines, right? Wanna draw that box, okay? All right, so there's a star now. The length is 100, so we're gonna draw like 100 millimeters. So this is, hold on. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna draw a line 100 millimeters to the right of the screen. Then we're gonna go up. We'll have to do some subtraction. All right, so we'll be continuing drawing the front elevation here, right? So we're going to go up. How much are you going to go up by? Can you guess? 80 millimeters, okay? And a little while you will see why I say 80. Then we're going to go across about 100. Then we're going to come down to here. Enter, all right? So that is the start of the oblique drawing. Now, the plan, so you notice that this box, this, this, this edge, and this edge is the same thing as this face right here. Okay, good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to draw what would be the length or the width. This measurement going out there. What angle would this line be drawn at? Do you recall? Do you recall? We're going to draw it in today's um, video at um, 45 degrees. So we're going to enter the length, which is one, 132, and the angle would be 45 degrees. All right? Press Enter. Okay? Now we're going to go up. The height would be the same 80 as here, right? So I'm going to put this line down there. All right, so let's go now. So we're going to go this line, and the height going up would be 80. Good job. 
All right. Good. Fabulous. Right. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw a line going across there. So I'm going to do that for you. All right. So here, and you'll catch your practice for the. I'm going to draw a construction line, right? So we can remove it after we finish our a bit of where this delete, all right? So we need <clears throat> the length would be what? 132 and the angle would be 45. Good. All right, so you connect it up here. Right. Now that's, this line won't be part of the drawing. I just help you to set it out, okay? <clears throat> all right. So... What we can do is finish drawing the base of the box, all right? So we come here, 132, 45, right? And then to complete it, we go what, 100 across. All right, so there's a box, all right? Now, this is the lower part. It's a, it has a top part, which is the angles. It has a sloping, two sloping, um size at the this side right so <clears throat> there are different ways to do it but maybe this would be the easier way draw the full block and you cut out what you want so imagine that you have a slice of bread and you're going to cut out the corners at 45 degrees if it's if, it, if the angle is 45 right but we're going to use the measurement so what i'm going to do so you see this line and this line this line so look this line is this line I'm going to draw this line up here at the top in construction, meaning if you want to call it rough work, all right? But well, rough work is not the right word, it's construction. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to draw the top part now. So going up, this would be what? 40. You know, I get 40, you subtract um, 80 from 120, you get 40. See that? Then I'm going to come across how much? 100. I'm gonna go down how much how much you will 40. Alright, enter. We're gonna go up go up now, right? So we're gonna go a line. Come here. What will be the length of this line? 132. 132. And the angle is 45. Good. We can come down here and close it. It should be 40. So going down. <clears throat> Must be 40 millimeters. Right? Good. So there it is. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing here. Line. This should be 132 and the angle is 45. Good. And then coming across, we're gonna join it. Enter. Alright. So what, this is the top part of the same box, right? But this is just construction, right? And what we're going to do now, the top here goes across. We already have the 40 here, you know, so the 40 would be here, okay? All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line 32 along here, all right? So we're going to line. So it'd be 32, and the angle would be 45. Good. Good. We can go across. Hold on. You need this line. All right, so let's go again. Line. Gonna go across. Should be a hundred, okay? undo <clears throat> all right so we're gonna go line there enter all right and we're gonna remove the excess line using the trim command all right we're gonna do the same thing up here so at the top we're gonna come down now so we're gonna draw a line from this corner, coming down, what will be the length? 30. So we 30 at 135. So we're going to go line. 
here. All right, better still, we're going to go line from here. And what is the, the length? 70. Right, so we're going to go 70 from the plan. So we're going to go 70, 45, enter. So what happened now? This line now is highlighted, it's 70 away. So we're going to draw a horizontal line across, and the length will be 100. All right, so let us go now. Good job if you're following along. If you are not, just stay with us and you'll get the solution. All right, so I'm going to trim out the excess. Right, so here's a box now, the three dimensional box coming, taking shape. So watch now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use a line command. I'm going to try a line some there. To there, enter, line again from there. To there, enter, from there, to there, enter. So good job if you got the correct um shape in terms of the oblique drawing or projection all right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna darn it up okay so we're gonna go with line i'm gonna start here so let's start here there 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 this is a front face yes so this face is this face right here all right all right so i've labeled the front face for you in the two-dimensional drawing and the three-dimensional drawing so you could have a better understanding if you weren't following okay so i'm gonna draw about this line it was what one 132 and the angle was 45 Yes, then we went, we go up uh what's the height 80. Right? Then we're gonna come here. Then we're gonna come down. Come down. <clears throat> Enter. So let's finish up the top now. All right. So we go again. Line. I'm gonna start here. This line will be what? One hundred. So we enter in whatever we need. Coming down. This line will be seventy. Coming across. Enter. And then the last line is this line. Enter. All right, so good job if you got the drawing correct. Here's the solution. If you didn't get it correct, don't worry. We'll be making more videos, and, and you'll get more confident as you go along. So if you got it right, good job, as you always do. If it was a little bit different from what I have, don't be disheartened. We have more videos to come, so stay tuned. And watch the channel we're putting up more videos so that you can get more exposure okay so this brings us to the end of today's video right so in today's video we looked at oblique drawing we got a two-dimensional drawing right and our task was to draw it in oblique projection right so in the next video we'll be looking at conic sections right so we hope to see you there take care until we meet again and thanks for supporting the channel bye